Governor Kim Reynolds is working to increase transparency in Iowa schools, giving parents a better understanding of materials used to teach your kids. That's the goal of her education bill introduced yesterday. Local 5's Mary Sugden explains a few parts of the bill's proposals and then the concerns some Iowans are voicing. One of the many proposals in Governor Reynolds' bill would enforce schools to provide a full list of books available and a detailed procedure on how books are reviewed and potentially banned. But some professionals say they're confused. It's not very clear that if something is banned in one school, whether that will be a, a statewide ban. Sam Helmick, president of the Iowa Library Association, says they'd like more clarity on points like this, adding many parents may not realize those policies and practices already exist. We actually founded the Library Bill of Rights. Uh, it started in Des Moines before it was adopted nationally. We are the forefront intellectual freedom thinkers of the nation. While Sam plans on staying in Iowa, they say legislation like this is sparking other librarians to reconsider. If you want to continue to do that good work, it might be much easier to go find a state that trusts you to do it, a state that works with you to do it. A different part of the bill mirrors other proposals from lawmakers this session, banning curriculum on gender identity, a proposal mental health advocates believe could result in higher youth suicides. It is devastating when you spend your days helping people to get access to mental health services already and the idea that we're going to be putting more kids at risk um, and putting more strain on the system and potentially losing more of these children it basically breaks my heart. Leslie Carpenter, Iowa Mental Health Advocacy co-founder, says she believes those trying to ban these discussions believe they're doing what's right and protecting kids. I think they don't understand the potential consequences to children other than their own or potentially even to their own children eventually. Mary's joining us now. This is a large bill from the governor. What else can you tell us about it? So Stephanie, as we said, this bill really repeats other measures that we've seen from lawmakers so far this session. For example, it would require school staff to notify parents if the student indicates an interest in changing their gender identity. But something that's new with this bill would require schools to basically give out the civics test that's used by United States citizenship and immigration. And passing that test would be a requirement to graduate from high school. A lot of changes proposed yeah. there. All right, Mary, thank you so much.